it for one, two, and three. Well, as you can tell, right away I had some audio issues, so I'm going to have to actually go ahead and do a voiceover instead of just using the me mic'd up on location. I might actually use some of the actual audio from the shoot. It just depends on how bad it is or how good it is. This is Confluence Park in San Antonio, Texas. It's just south of downtown San Antonio. It's a beautiful location. I love the arches. Uh, it just gives a really beautiful background to any type of portrait work. So what you see here in this section of the video is I want to actually get her centered on these lines and centered on that pillar. So I'm kind of directing her to position more to the right. So when she leaps, she'll be centered over it. So it's a little bit of direction, um, you know, a little bit of, all right, let's move it here. Let's move it. Let's adjust here. You know, she's practicing a couple times, you know, so that shot can be just right. So, and again, with dance, these leaps, it's timing, 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 timing. And I missed this shot a couple times, but I did finally get the shot that I liked. Um, but I did have to do a little bit of Photoshop. But I don't think it turned out too bad. Even though dancers can do their own posing and positions and leaps, it's still your responsibility as the photographer to position the light to best literally shine on your model. So that's what I'm doing here. I just want to see what she's actually doing before I take the shot. Five, six, seven, eight. Give it that bend. Keep going. Okay, one more time, one more time. Can you bend it? If I count it, once I count it, just pop it. Yeah? All right, ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Ah, gorgeous. Love it. One, two, three. Two and three. Eyes to the flash. Here was a really kind of unique pose that we were doing. I mean, it's it's simple pose in looks, but I mean, it just really is pretty. Kind of just directing your model, you know, how to position their body, how to look at the light, how to look away. Um, that's what I like to do. Again, the dancer can pose and their poses are beautiful, but sometimes as the photographer, you've just kind of got to direct a little bit more to get the shot that you want. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Okay. So even if you need to, right here we're using a pose that we found on the phone to kind of recreate. And so it's just us trying to figure out how we want to best shoot this. So use that corner with the with right the side. side. Yeah. Okay. So you're at the left side. Okay. So, so you're out just a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Ah, that's gorgeous. One, two, three. Beautiful. Can you rest? Give great feedback. You always need to give feedback. Don't tell your models negative things. Be positive. Always be positive. Right here, we actually are kind of doing just a little bit of a restructure to the pose. So it's just kind of a reset, and then she's going to go back into it, and then we're going to get this beautiful next shot. Visual feedback is important too because they can actually look at the camera and see what kind of images we're creating. So it's important to show your dancers as you're shooting or after you're shooting so that they can see, do they need to make changes? Are they okay with their poses? This is one of my favorite poses. It's just a beautiful, elegant pose. It's again, simple looking. We just, I just love the way the light was coming through here. So I actually went with two options with black and white or color. I don't know which one I like more. You can tell me which one you like in the comments below. For this next shot, I just had these leading lines in the background from one, the pillar to the shadow. And it just led right to my model and it just turned out beautifully. So 
So this one here, we kind of shot outside the structure and just kind of leading into it. At first she was doing more of a pose, but what I really wanted was more of that action shot. You just get that leg higher when she's in a peak action as opposed to posing it. So you can see her kick it a couple times with the last one. We actually did kind of miss it with the video, but I got it with the camera. We're gonna go right to the middle where okay. the water's flowing. Okay. Like in between the, the little concrete barriers. Yes. And then I'm gonna have the sun to your back. Next, we went down to the river to get some water shots. And this is how we finished up our session. Right here, I was able to just get rid of the wireless and use the onboard mic from the camera. And it picked up some pretty decent audio. It did pick up a lot of the water. I want to shout out to Monty for shooting the video for this. He actually volunteered to do this. Uh, he's trying to kind of build up his own portfolio with video and photography. And so he had reached out and asked if there was any kind of videos that I would like to have shot. So I thought he did a great job and I will probably be using him more for some future shoots. So thank you, Monty, so much. Massive shout out to my dancer, Sela. She is a 2023 senior rep for me. And what I really wanted to do was create a dance video. And so I reached out to her and said, hey, uh, are you, would you be interested in doing this? And that's the benefit of having reps to me is I get to kind of create when I need to create. And, and I have a lot of models that I can choose from to work with. So Sela, thank you so much for coming out, braving the water and doing this shoot with me. I really do truly appreciate it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. It really does help. I'm trying to grow the channel and I'm hoping to actually really start pushing more YouTube content in 2023. Feel free to subscribe, like, comment, share if you want to do all that. But uh, please come back for more videos. And until next time, keep shooting.